And welcome to Pop It, just in time to wrap up Brat Summer, uh, just in time to talk about Chappelle Roan. What a summer it's been for pop culture, and I'm so glad for Pop It to return. Back at it again is Brendan, our correspondent from Chi Town. We have Oscar, very tastemaker delight, and we have uh, joining us a first time player pop culture historian Shar. So thank you all for being here. We're going to get right into it. You know how it works. We have five topics. Each contestant has 30 seconds to state their opinion. I judge all opinions on a point scale. One of you will walk out tonight's winner. So let's get into it with topic number one, which is the song that the straights are living for, even if the gays aren't. Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga have collabed on a simmering slow ballad called Die With a Smile. It's doing really well in the streams. People are eating it up. Uh, what are our thoughts on the song, on the video, on the collab? Brendan, take it away. Your 30 seconds start now. So I'm a big fan of Lady Gaga. I think she has a beautiful voice. I love how she's tapping into other artists. You know, she had uh, Jerry Bennett or Tony Bennett, Jerry Seinfeld that she worked with. And I thought that was an amazing duo. And I'm glad that she's getting back into pop now and kind of moving away from the jazz. Bruno Mars, I heard that he chose to write a song with her because he's $55 million in debt. And um, yeah, I mean, if each stream counted as a dollar, then I'm the one that really brought him out of debt. But I'm happy for the both of them. And um, That's your time. That's your time. You know, I like how you're like, I personally contributed to Bruno being financially stable. I love that. Uh, let's go over to Oscar. Oscar, what are your take on the song? Are you smiling or are you frowning? Um... <laughs> I'm kind of frowning, I think. I, you know, I like more of Lady Gaga's crazy kind of pop. Like, her art pop era was definitely for me. Um, I think this one caters more towards the straights and suburban moms, for sure. So um, that's kind of how I feel about it. I haven't seen the video, so I don't know if it's any good. But, I mean, it could be a grower. I could listen to it more and see how it goes, for sure. Uh, I feel like the energy of the video is very much the song. So I'm going to tell you ahead of time, you're probably going to be underwhelmed by the video. Uh, okay. But if you love the song, I think you'd like the video. Shar, what about you? I feel like I can't even, I'm not going to be able to read you. So tell me, tell me. I don't know. I, um, I actually, I don't mind the song. It definitely gives me wedding vibes. And, you know, like Bruno Mars is like the king of like wedding songs. So I think, like, touching a little bit on what Brendan said, I just feel like Gaga's just kind of bailing him out more so than anything. And this is why we're getting this song and this collab. But, I mean, I don't mind it. But, yeah, it's definitely like a wedding song for me. That's your time. Perfect. You know, I got to say, I think you might be right that Gaga came in and was like, I'm here to be a philanthropy queen that I am <laughs> and help you make money. I loved it. I can't stop playing it. I think, you know, it's refreshing because we've been in our, like a summer of oons oons and like, you know, Sabrina Carpenter and even like, I don't know, Billie Eilish's moody kind of music. So it was nice to have like a nice love ballad. I don't know. We've I, I can't remember the last time I've had like a love ballad. And, you know, this comes from someone who's desperately single. So I don't know. I, I'm here for it. I think it's going to blow up. I do agree with Shar that I think this is like a wedding song, a funeral song, graduation song. I mean, any special occasion song for sure. Uh, topic number two. Well, uh, we're up Shit's Creek because Eugene and Dan Levy are going to host the 2024 Emmys. Are we surprised? Are we interested? Where where do we fall on this? We're going to go to Oscar first on this one. Um, So I love Shit's Creek. I've never really seen them as hosts, so I don't really know what to expect there. But they're funny. Like, it could go north it could go south um I, i'll say that i'm tuning in and i'm excited to see what they do and kind of the energy around their posting um so yeah i guess that's kind of my take on it yeah uh, brendan i feel like you might have a strong opinion here do you want to drop it for me <laughs> so i'm a huge fan of shit's creek i've probably seen every single season at least 15 times in a row and i can't say that i've watched an award show and it's full length but i mean if they bring moira rose out there i don't know her real name moira rose out there i i will probably cry and i will be so excited honestly that's probably the only reason why i would watch moira rose were on the show 
Yeah. yeah that's a good awards. take. I like that. Uh, now, I feel like, Shar, you probably have a bit more experience with, like, award shows and stuff. What do you think? I mean, is this, do you think this is going to go well? Is this different for the Emmys? I don't know. I'm actually very interested to see the ratings that they'll pull in. I feel like they are a dynamic duo. They write very well together. Um, so, I don't know. I feel... Like people are more so interested than like excited or expecting to get blown out of the water. So we'll we'll see how it'll go for sure. Yeah, I think I agree with all of you. I'm keeping it kind of under under what well, not underestimated, underwhelmed. I'm I'm just trying to be like yeah. whatever. I'm trying to be like when you see like a hot person at the bar and you're just like like whatever like i you know i don't know like i'm here you're here uh we'll see i but i do agree with you too Shar. i feel like the ratings that's gonna be real interesting to see how that comes off uh well post malone drops a new album he's going country and in his interviews he's coming under fire uh you know talking about how well he did rap because that was what was popular but he really wanted to be you know in country and people are calling him a culture vulture and he's like no that's not it I don't know. The the controversy is pretty interesting. Uh, what do you think? Do you think Post Malone is kind of guilty of that? Or, um, you know, is it kind of one of those things where, hey, in the music industry, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, let's cut over to Brendan first. So I'm such a huge fan of country music. And I love that Posty is now like tapping into that. I feel like other artists who weren't really partaking in that genre then tried to sneak up an album or two in the country, like haven't done that well. But now that Posty is doing it, I'm so excited for what's about to come. And I will be front row at every single one of his concerts. I mean, I got to say, Brendan, I think you like Post Malone because he's like, you um, want to be with Post Malone. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> what do we, uh, we don't kiss and tell around here. That's for sure. Shar, what about you? Do you think this is, uh, you know, I don't know, the criticism is valid or... You just got to do what you got to do. You know, I I feel like they're being a little bit hard on him. Um, it's interesting because I wanted to see how the country music side of this is going to accept him. And so far, I feel like he's been pretty accepted because yeah. he's from Texas and he's a Southern boy versus other artists who have made this transition. Um, it hasn't been quite so easy for them. But um, as far as like the culture vulture, I think people evolve. Um, he's a talented guy. He's great at singing. He's great at rapping. And I think it's okay to evolve and want to do different things. And it's your time. Oscar, what about you? What's your take on this uh, Maloney sandwich? Yeah, so I personally love Post Malone. And I have to agree with Shar. I think like people definitely evolve. We've seen it so many times with different artists. Um and then right now, I just think country, people kind of transitioning over to country is pretty big. We've seen Beyonce, Lana Del Rey is coming out with the country album. Um, so I think it'll be a good sound for him. Yeah, my two notes on this. Well, the one thing is, yeah, I feel like male artists, they get like an easier time. Like, oh, you're now country. That's fine. Whereas female artists, like when they do country, they're kind of like, oh, like you're not country. So that's like my one note. Because I'm thinking of like Beyonce earlier with her country album, how like so many people were like, that's not country. She can't be country. And then two, the one thing I do hate is when artists do use uh, rap, hip hop, R and B, and then go. Oh well, now I'm making like actual, real, authentic, raw music with my country folk, bluegrass, me and a guitar. Because to me, it's like, okay, well, that is like devaluing the genres that you did steal. And I do think Post Malone did a little bit of that, but he's not just him. It's a ton of people have gotten rid of the drum kits and the synthesizers and the 808s and said, oh, well, this is me being raw. So just some more general comments, I guess, on that one. Um, oh, goodness, you guys. Katy Perry, this new era has been off to a rocky start working with Dr. Luke. Uh, it's a woman's world, and we were very unlucky to be born into that this summer, I'll tell you that. Uh, but now, this new song, Lifetime, is out. The video controversy that they didn't get permits in Spain. But now, the big thing that's blowing up is uh, Katy Perry signing CDs, and she has her daughter signing with her. And uh, people are a little pissed about that. They, they're like, no, I don't want your kid scrabbling on my copy. Um, I don't know. What do we think of this? Is this cute? Is this fine? Are people overreacting? Would you be happy to get Katy Perry's daughter's signature 
on your CD? We'll go back to Oscar first. Yeah, so I think Katie's trying her best to stay relevant. And I will say Woman's World wasn't for me. Um, neither was her other song. I can't even remember. Um, so that's, yeah. Um, but I don't like the whole Dr. Luke thing either. I'm just not a fan of this era. But on top of that, I just think it's pretty weird to have your kids signing and scribbling everywhere, kind of trying to make it cute, you know? Yeah. Good take. Shar, what about you? I feel like this is another opinion. I'm trying to think where you're going to land on. Uh, I just, like, I'm over it. I'm with Oscar as far as, like, I just think she's just trying to grab at anything to remain relevant, and it's just not working. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I could see where people would be upset because you're dropping major money to get an autograph from um, an artist, and she's just like, okay, you know, using her daughter for content and that for content. But yeah, ultimately, like, yeah, I'm I'm over Katy Perry. <laughs> Brendan, I cannot wait to hear what you're going to say. I, I And I'm like trying to grip my seat in preparation. Well, I actually have never heard of Kitty Paris. Um, but if I had, I would say that she has to, that she made a really big mistake working with the man that she worked with. Um, it that man destroyed Ketch's life and she's building herself back up right now. But um, yeah, I would say having your child help sign autographs is kind of like devaluing the purpose of it. Um, and I think she should have just stuck with, I kissed a girl and retired. Oh, wow. I, here's the thing that I think, why not just sell you autographing and then maybe you could sell, Hey, I autographed them with my daughter. I just feel like, that would have been an easier route because then if I'm like buying for you and your daughter, then I'd be like, Oh, that's what I'm getting versus like, Oh, I just wanted your signature. Like, I don't care about your daughter. Like, unless it's Orlando Bloom signing it, but uh, you know what, Katie, I feel like there's been a lot of mistakes, but you know what? You could call communication experts like me, like Brendan and like Oscar, and we will come in and we will do a whole image redux for you, Katie. We got you. Um, I like how Brendan was like, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least let's close it out hawk tua the girl i call her hawk tua girl i honestly need to check her name uh she's out there man she uh through the first pitch of the mets game she turned down a date from young gravy that was a huge thing uh, today uh are you impressed that she's milking this or is this too much uh char let's kick it off to you 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 picked this topic out today Honestly, I'm very impressed that, like, by what she's doing. I have not seen someone stretch their 15 minutes this long since, like, Heidi and Spencer. Um, so, yeah, I I thought it was cute when she had mentioned that during the first pitch, she was donating the money to, like, a animal shelter or whatnot. So she's trying to be philanthropic and, you know... It is what it is. I don't hate the girl, but it's definitely kind of a short-lived thing <laughs> Yeah, for me. Uh, over to Brendan. Brendan, what are your thoughts on Hak Tua? See, working in social media, I, I have to say that we are the ones that are making her famous. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to keep putting out our love and support for these content creators, uh, these TikTok creators who are having their like 15 minutes of fame, 15 seconds of fame, like, and then people are like, oh, now she wants to move to LA. Like what's wrong with her? Let people live their lives. I get it. But I mean, she has so much fame now that she can just, I don't know, transition into maybe like a different saying, or I don't know. I, th I think by the time she started to get really relevant is when it kind of started dying out. So. That's your time. I got to say, Brendan, that was a very demure, very mindful comment from you. I loved that. Oh, my God. I can't uh, do that. <laughs> over to Oscar. Closing us out. Last opinion of the day. Hawk to, uh, hawk to it. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of just learned about this girl a few weeks ago. I didn't really understand it all, but kind of did some research on it and found out why she went viral. Um, I think she's also kind of stretching her... 15 minutes of fame as far as she can. And I've heard that she doesn't like being called the hop to a girl, but I'm like, that's what you got famous for. People are going to kind of call you that. Um, I'm just kind of indifferent. I think that, you know, we'll see where she goes for sure, but um, that's all we can really do. I think, I don't think she's like going to stay super relevant unless she does something big. 
You know, and I, I agree with Shar here on the sense that she took that 15 minutes and she is stretching that as long as she can. Good for her, especially these days. If you get that 15, you can make a quick buck. I mean, do it. She was just in town, just at the bar. Like, the bar hired her to just be there for the night. And it's like, shoot, if someone pays me 400 bucks to show up at your bar, I'm going to do that. That's easy money. So, I mean, listen, I, I wish her the best. I think what's going to happen is she's going to, you know, take the next year to really get some good cash flow and she'll be set for life and she'll go on and do whatever chapter is next. So God bless her. Um, okay. Well, the points are in with 24 points, Brendan, with 23 <laughs> points, Oscar, and Char with 24.5. Oh my goodness. Just a point five. I had to give you extra for the uh, Emmys comments because I, I loved what you brought up the whole viewership and that really made me really excited to see how that's going to land. So, Char, you're a winner today. Winners get to say a comment. So yeah. Close us out, Char. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for having me. It's going to be interesting to see how everything plays out. I um, appreciate pop culture so much and I appreciate just finding my people. Um, it's so nice meeting you all and Again, Matthew, thank you for having me here. Yeah. Well, next time, Shar, you gotta you gotta keep the, the keep the crown intact because people will be coming for the crown as always on Pop It. So, <laughs> uh, for more information, StarVoltStudios.com. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day and thanks for being on the panel. Ah, uh, peace out. Bye.